What's up, what's up guys? Jason Flego here. My mind is blown. Testing out Google's Lambda AI test kitchen. I asked to check it out in beta. And there are three unique kind of testing places. I'm so excited to share it with you. It's a very different than uh, chat GPT with open AI and everything that they've been doing. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and jump into this and let me show you everything that it can do. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Welcome back. So I'm going to show you and walk you through all of what Google uh, Lambda's AI Test Kitchen experience is like. So AI Test Kitchen here, uh, real quick, um, space to share new AI technology that Google's been working on. So I've been doing so many videos about uh, ChatGPT on my channel, but I'm so excited to show you what uh, Google's Lambda AI Test Kitchen can do. So it gives you a peek behind the uh, curtain. And uh, also for those doing the beta testing, they can also provide feedback to make this a better experience and improve it. So Lambda AI model from Google, different than the GPT-3 model uh, that OpenAI has been using. Basically fundamentally different for creating traditional chatbots. Um, so uh, there's a lot of different models out there in AI to train different chatbots in these experiences, but Google is specifically using Lambda. Uh, with their AI test kitchen. So again, it's work in progress, it's a demo. So there is some things as you'll see here pretty soon um, that they're still working on. There's some issues that come, uh, that pop up. So it asks you to sign in. You are going to need to sign in with your Google account. So I signed in with mine up top. And then once you get added in here, you'll see uh, the three different demos that they have. And then down at the bottom, there's a link for how Lambda works. Um, and that's really important to read through um, how Lambda works because it's also a very different experience than what you're getting with ChatGPT. So it's a beginner-friendly guide to the generative language models um, that a lot of these AIs are using. So it's have it showing the user prompting it, Lambda's giving, you know, uh, example here. So that's the first demo that you can uh, play with and experiment with is actually something called Journey. So you give it a prompt, like, where are you going? And it starts this unique Journey kind of experience. It's really, really cool. Uh, the second is actually helping you generate lists and break down complex things into simple uh, tasks. And then the third is testing out dialogue. So it's using like a dog with a tennis ball uh, to kind of chat back and forth. Uh, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it gives a really good higher level view of what Lambda is, what is the generative language models, um, you know, the dialogue applications that uh, were released at the Google I.O., a conference that they had showing some of the conversations with the dogs uh, that you can have. So really cool there. Yeah, and then it's got the storytelling partner piece. So imagine I'm at a planet made of marshmallows and yeah, it's uh, giving some dialogue there. It's very unique to kind of see what you can do with the AI and what it comes up with. Even some of the scientists, um, engineers are intrigued results that they are doing. So let's go ahead and jump into this first demo here. So what should I do? Name a place and Lambda will offer paths to explore that. So I'm going to drop in Uluwatu uh, in Bali. So imagine I'm at Uluwatu and uh, let's see what it says. So you're at Uluwatu on Bali. The waves are crashing on the black sand beach uh, and you can hear the roar of the water. You see a fisherman standing waist deep in the water and he smiles and waves at you. Really cool there. I love that. Let me type in, uh, uh, imagine I'm on planet Mars. So you're on Mars. Congrats. It's really windy. The wind is blowing fine. Red dust all around you. You hear the wind whistling. You see a Mars rover in the distance. It looks like it's taking a selfie. So all these options down below, you can also continue to tag onto it uh, and see what it can do. So I chose what does the dust smell like? It smells like powdered chocolate. You can taste it when you breathe. Can I taste the red dirt? Tastes a bit like powdered chocolate. It's a tiny winged dragon-like creature flying around, investigating. Looks like a bit like a pterodactyl. It's making a clicking sound with its beak. Typed in, what does its beak look like? Looks like a needle. It's yellow. So as you can see, there's like very unique things with these uh, journeys that you can do. And then you can eventually end the journey. Suddenly you're back home. What an amazing journey. Your mind is still racing with all the things you saw on Mars. Where will you go next? 
So you can do a new journey, but let's go ahead and jump into the next demo here. So this is where you can break down a complex goal or topic into something simple. So name a goal or topic and it will break it down. So I wanna create a WebRTC um, mobile app here using React Native as the prompt, and it will break out all of those different tasks, and then you can choose to break those out further. So here I chose one, it's giving create a new project. I chose it and it's popping out each of the next steps to go from there. So imagine using Google's Lambda here to break it down uh, and then using a tool like chat GPT that can also do the programming and the code engineering, help you with the code engineering there like crazy. Now I'm doing one where I wanna run a full marathon and it's giving step-by-step -step, uh, pieces here for the race and the goals and the pace, the training plan, uh, the goal, yeah, setting a goal time here. It's pretty crazy everything that you can do with it. Like I'm very impressed. It's a great start. A lot of people fail before, um, uh, fail on a new goal because they can't get started. So this is a great example of helping break down those tasks. So now I asked, I want to plan a date night. Uh, so with my wife, I wanted to see what it would come up with. So it gave out a whole list here of different things that you can do. Um, now I typed in, I want to create a billion dollar SaaS company. I'm curious to see what it came up with. So it, came, it popped out what you would expect, a great idea to people, the team, um, all the different things that you would need to build that successful company. Uh, the funding, yeah, taking it public to do an IPO and everything shows you right here how to build that team of uh, talented people, um, how to build the product. Yeah, it's very, very impressive with a lot of the, uh, the answers that you can get. So let's jump ahead into the third demo, which is this kind of dogs, talk about it, dogs edition, it's dialogue. So roll with the conversation, see where it goes. It's a fun, kind of weird, open-ended chat. So it prompted with, hey, bouncing through the grass, these dogs are so playful. Have you ever wondered how dogs can be so gentle with their young puppies? I type in, yeah. <laughs> I heard that's because of their nurturing instinct. They're pack animals and have a strong desire to care for their young. Uh, I'm familiar uh, with that. I'm, again, just testing it to see what it will respond with. I think it's so sweet. Also heard some dogs are born with a strong uh, nurturing instinct. They're used as service dogs. I say, yes, I love service dogs. Which breed is your favorite? Here's a good problem point, potentially. So it pops out um, that it doesn't pay attention to human breeds. <laughs> so it misinterpreted that I was talking about human breeds when I was talking about dog breed. So, and then it talks about the types of service dogs that it admires. So the ones detecting seizures, alerting owners, that kind of thing. So this is really amazing, everything that you can do. I'm super impressed with the capabilities here. Uh, again, Google is just early on after everything that OpenAI has been releasing with their uh, chat. GPT. I'm excited to be sharing more uh, with Google Lambda, the AI test kitchen, as they release more updates here soon. Stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed and watch for more upcoming videos. But isn't this crazy? If you like this video, please like and share it uh, with your network. I would love to have that support from you. Thank you so much. And that's three main ways that you can test out Google's Lambda AI test kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about you using Google's new Lambda uh, AI system, signing up for the beta program, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've had a chance to test out the beta yourself and have found different variations or unique things, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about them. I'm gonna be doing some more videos unpacking this. This is just the beginning of the new world of AI that we're gonna be using probably every day for different things. So I'm excited to share more content here in the new future on AI machine learning other kind of tech related videos. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and uh, that way you won't miss any of my other upcoming videos. I'm so excited that you are tuning in here. Thank you so much for your time. Remember to keep moving forward and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.